Hey guys, welcome back. So as part of this video, we're going to talk about the insights of Kafka and we'll see um, what happens behind the scenes of Kafka when you create a topic, when you produce messages, when you consume messages, what is offset, how the logs get um, uh, captured in Kafka, what is commit logs, all these things we're, we're going to discuss as part of this topic. Then, um, then we are going to create a multi-node cluster and we'll produce a message, then we'll shut down one of the node and then we'll see whether the messages are still getting delivered as part of the consumer or not. And um, okay, let to start with, let's talk about the topic. Topic is like a category and it's a feed name which producer can write into and the consumer can read it from. Uh, for example, let's, um, let's say you have a website where uh, you wanna capture the user events, then you can create a topic called user event or you can create a topic called clickstream so it's up to you how you decide um, to name your topic so now let's talk about the anatomy of topic so topic has multiple partitions inside it so whenever you are writing some messages or the producer writes a message into the topic it goes to the partitions and each partitions um, maintains uh, records. Each partition is an ordered immutable sequence of records that is continually appended to a structured commit log. What does it mean is when producers appends um, the messages, it appends to the end of the data structure. It does not override or delete any existing data. If there is any uh, bad data comes in, you need to send a message again. So it has to write it to the end of the data structure and consumers can read it from there at their own pace and it keeps track of the offset. So the records in the partitions are each assigned to a sequential ID uh, that's called the offset and that uniquely identifies each record in the partition. And um, the order is not guaranteed across partitions. If you look at here in this um, um, picture, partition one is having lesser entries than partition zero and partition two. So partition 2 is having entries till from 0 to 12, partition 0 is 0 to 12, but partition 1 is 0 to 9. So when the message comes in, it can come to either the partition 0, partition 1, or partition 2. So there is no guarantee of the order. But inside partition, the order is really guaranteed. So now let's uh, talk about the Kafka consistency and failover and we'll discuss the leader um, and the replication factor here. Then in the demo, we'll see how the in-sync replicas occurs of uh, how the replicas are maintained and all this kind of uh, stuff. So if you uh, look at here, each partition can be replicated across multiple Kafka broker nodes to tolerate the node failures, right? So if you look at the broker one, broker one partition zero is the leader, partition one, two, three as the replicas, copy of replicas, broker two partition one is the uh, leader, Broker 3 partition 2 is the leader, broker 4 partition 3 is the uh, leader. So when the client writes into the topic uh, here, let's say it comes to partition 0, it immediately replicates to other broker's um, partitions because bro broker 2 also has partition 0, broker 3 also partition 0, broker 4. So it replicates to other um, brokers. So if the one if one node goes down, let's say broker 1 goes down, then you still have the messages uh, in the topic or in the partition, you can get it back in your consumer. So uh, that provides a fault tolerant mechanism of Kafka, right? So as we discussed um, here, so on node failures, one of the in-sync replicas is chosen as the new leader. So the same diagram with different uh, leader. So now let's quickly go over and uh, create a multi-node cluster. So I have created um, a copy of server.properties called server1.properties and server2.properties. If you look at here, I have given the same configuration here, uh, whatever I have given. So if I look at here, the configuration server dot property server one dot properties I have given the broker ID as one. Uh, this one was uh, commented earlier. I have uncommented it. Listeners equal to plain text nine zero nine three the port and advertise dot listener nine zero nine three and logs as I have made it as a logs one. So likewise in the server dot two dot properties logs two I have defined the logs to logs two 
and then uh, local host 9094 and uh, listener 9094 and the broker id is 2 so we have created three server dot property is the is the same server dot property we just copy pasted over there then now let's uh, go to our bin folder and start this okay so start the node so you can go to the github link and you can just copy paste to start how to start this um, node just doing the same thing by pointing to server one dot properties okay so the second node gets started now let's start the third node so first node is already been started here um, as part of the earlier video so if you look at here the zookeeper also gets updated so zookeeper maintains all the metadata information of uh, the kafka nodes so all the kafka nodes it keep sending the health check status to zookeeper node to uh, maintain the um, uh, health check so if one node goes down so zookeeper um, sends the messages or um, informs other broker to take up the messages so now let's uh, go ahead and uh, produce a message uh, let's create a topic called demo topic one Okay, before that, we need to create a topic. So, to create a topic, we are going to create a topic. So, here we'll give application factor partition 3 replication factor 3. I'm not inside okay and there's a dot missing here Okay, my topic is already there, so I need to give Okay, we got created now if you want to um, look at the details of the topic You can check the topic details. Okay, if you look at the demo topic, partition zero, partition one, and part three partitions you've created, and here the leader is two, here the leader is zero, here the leader is one. And there is a replica. So the ideal scenario is replicas and ISR should be same. ISR means in sync replicas. Uh, we'll see quickly after shutting down one of the node how it reacts. So, but before that, let's produce a message. Hello. Hi. And the consumer. Are you there? Uh, still waiting to get the message. Oh, 
okay we are giving the wrong topic that's the reason we are now getting it's a demo topic one see you get the message back right so now um What are you publishing? You'll get the message back out here, right? So I have given earliest. You can give minus from beginning, so you'll get the all the messages from the beginning. Earliest means it will get the latest message only. So now let's go ahead and uh, shut down one of this node. In the consumer, you'll get this some little error because you shut down one node. But if you still Produce a message, you will get the message back. So even if the node goes down, one node goes down. So there are other nodes which will um, take care of this, maintaining the messages, and you'll get the message back. So that's all about this video, and we uh, covered the multi-node cluster, and we covered the topics. And uh, one last thing, um, uh, which I want to show you, the commit logs. So if you look at here, the commit logs is there in uh, temp. Kafka logs. So if you look at here, so the log files are created based on the partitions. If you go inside, you'll get all the messages which you have published so far so that's all about this video thanks for watching in the next set of video we'll, we'll write uh, the program producer program consumer program and we'll do all these activities programmatically stay tuned and thanks for watching this video